Hi, Rachel Lowenstein from Mindshare North America here. I'm about to interview Mark Lavalli, Executive Director at StoryX at the New York Times. Follow along to see what he thinks about all the emerging technologies we're about to see at South by Southwest. There's a ton of interesting stuff happening in the messaging space right now that we're doing. Many different companies are trying to figure out really what it means, but it's definitely the early days. You know, I think we'll look back on this moment five years from now and, and sort of jokingly remember the time where we had to tap at uh, a response in a Facebook Messenger app and, and things like that. So I think while a lot of the technology matures, the way the Times is looking at it is really based on individual events and individual experiments we can run in those moments. And Really, what we've been uh, pursuing for the last year or so is how to keep the human element front and center in that whole experience. So like what we did, we did this uh, experiment around the Olympics where instead of it being a bot uh, sending you these sort of programmed messages, it was actually our deputy sports editor uh, texting you insights from behind the scenes. So it was kind of like your friend who has an all-access press pass um, telling you cool stuff that you're not going to hear about otherwise. And what we're learning from that is how to keep that human voice front and center, and then over time, really figure out how to power that so that it's much more customized for individuals at scale. So one of the places where I think we're seeing some, drawing some inspiration from right now is this app called Text Rex, which is put out by Immaculate Infatuation. They, they write restaurant reviews uh, in various cities around the country. And so you can text Rex, that's it's a dinosaur, uh, that's the joke. Uh, you know, I'm standing uh, at this corner in Manhattan and I'm looking for a place to eat right now. And you actually, it's a conversation with another person on the other end of it. Um, but they're taking all of that and learning how to be able to do that in a more automated way. So that, that's really sort of powering this AI driven experience, which over the course of the next couple of years, we'll see a lot more of that. Um, so that's, that's sort of the trajectory that we're looking at on that front. We're really looking at two major evolving trends in, in this evolution. One is on the consumer side, people wanting to make more informed purchasing decisions. You see some of that in, in early steps in, in the Times' recent acquisition of the wire cutter and the sweet home to really provide more of that kind of service-driven journalism. But the, the real sort of expansion of that goes back into supply chains and sourcing and, and so on because customers really want to understand where their stuff is coming from. And so that's really going to drive a lot more transparency in that whole uh, part of the system. On the other side, with the ways technology is solving for more of the basic needs in our lives, that's freeing us up to really think more about the purpose uh, that we bring to our work and to our lives. And so I think we're seeing a lot of employees at forward-thinking companies really want to make sure that their companies are doing good in the world and really driving that from the inside as well. And so those two things really come together, that sort of inside the company drive and then also the market-driven consumer drive, I think to really push for more of that kind of ethical design, ethical manufacturing, transparency in the supply chain and so on.